the integumentary system. The integumentary system, also known as the skin, is the body's first line of defense. It helps produce and store vital components to human life and has many other important features. The integumentary system is comprised of the skin and its appendages. The integumentary system is composed of three layers. The top, called the epidermis, is made up of epithelial cells and does not contain blood vessels. Its main function is to protect the body, absorb nutrients, and maintain homeostasis. The middle layer, called the dermis, is made of an irregular connective tissue. This tissue is made of two layers. The upper layer, called the papillary layer, is made of areolar connective tissue. The lower layer, or reticular layer, is made out of a more dense connective tissue. These two layers give the system elasticity, allowing for more flexibility. The dermis also contains other specialized cells, such as hair follicles, blood vessels, and sweat glands. Finally, the hypodermis is specialized to collect fats. It uses the fats like an energy reserve, putting it into use only when needed. This fat is also used as an insulator. The integumentary system protects the body's internal tissues and organs from many things, small and large. It defends against invasion from infectious organisms, sunburned from UV rays by using melanin, and maintains homeostasis by protecting the body against abrupt changes in the temperature. The integumentary system also keeps the body from becoming dehydrated. The integumentary system may be most known for its defense against alien objects, but it does much more. It helps rid waves through perspiration. It acts as a receptor for the nervous system. It generates vitamin D from exposure to UV light. The integumentary system stores water, glucose, and vitamin D, and helps maintain the body's form. Some diseases and injuries that involve the integumentary system are rash, blister, athlete's foot, infection, sunburn, skin cancer, albinism, acne, herpes, cold sores, impetigo, and rubella.